Hello there everybody, my name is Ali and welcome back to Best Fakes in the House. In today's video I'm going to be running through all the best cookie decorating tools that I've come across and how best to use them. All these tools have made my life as a biscuit decorator so much easier. In this video I will be going through all six of these tools, where I got them and how best to utilise them. Wait, but not everyone can afford fancy decorating tools, right? That is why I will also be showing you the alternatives to these tools that you probably have in your house already. And with that, let's get into our first cookie tool. This tool here is called a decorating scribe. This tool is used by decorators to move icing around on a biscuit surface, as well as pop any small bubbles that may come up. It may also be used to fix any imperfections, as well as move around sprinkles. You can buy pretty simple looking scribes, but I got mine off an Etsy shop called the Candied Cookie Co. As this was a tool I knew I was going to be using a lot, I wanted something a bit nicer than those ones you can get for cheap. This scribe was made using soft food grade silicon pieces as its handle, making it super comfortable to hold for long periods of time. I also chose this scribe for its rose gold effect going down, as well as the sparkles in between, making it look so pretty. The part of the scribe that gets used the most is the metallic tip at the end. This is what's used to manipulate the icing on the biscuit. I think one of the best ways to use a scribe is to work in circular motions with your icing so that you don't have to put as much on and not overflow the edges of the biscuit. This particular scribe retails for 12 UK pounds on Etsy. Now, say that you don't want to invest in a scribe right away, a really good alternative is wooden cocktail sticks. You probably have them in your cupboard already. One of the pros of wooden cocktail sticks over say a scribe are that they're readily available anywhere. You can get them in most supermarkets or even craft stores if you need to. Other benefits include that you get so many in a pack and also they're disposable so you don't need to clean them after each use like you would a scribe. The shape of a cocktail stick is very similar to the metallic end of the scribe. Personally, I prefer to use the metal scribe over the wooden cocktail sticks. This is mainly due to the fact that I can clean off the metal very easily rather than having to throw away a wooden stick every time I'm finished with it. Where to find this scribe and all the other products in this video will be linked in the description. The next product I'm going to recommend is a basic paint palette and some baking paint brushes to go along with it. The one I use here is just a very basic 10 well plastic paint palette. You can get them off Amazon for really cheap or you can also find them in your local craft store. And the paint brushes that I use are PME craft paint brushes. These are food safe and they're designed to be used on cakes and other baked goods. I bought these ones from my local cake decorating store, but you can probably buy them from places like Hobbycraft that also sell cake decorating supplies, or you could probably find them on Amazon for fairly cheap as well. The alternative to these products are basically just cheaper versions of themselves, but please bear in mind if you're going to use them on food, make sure to give them a proper wash first, and if you're planning to use them on food you're selling, then make sure they're food safe. Now the next product I'm going to be talking about is a food safe airbrush. This specifically is a cake airbrushing kit so it comes with all the things I'd need to be able to airbrush properly. Within this kit you receive everything that you need to be able to airbrush. You receive the compressor which is the main white part I'm pulling out now. You also receive five different stencil tools as well as eight pre-mixed airbrush paint colours. This part here is where the airbrush colour comes out of. You fill colour into the little well, seal it, and then once the air comes through the compressor and through the tube, it then sprays out the end and creates beautiful designs on your biscuits. This is the compressor and it's really easy to use. It has one button to turn everything on and off. It comes with five different pressures that you control with that on off button. I chose to purchase some additional stencils to go along with my airbrush, but you don't necessarily need to do this. For example, I'm using a cutter here just to make a circle outline very easily. This airbrush kit does come with five stencils already, so you can start off by just using those. Uh, they're very useful when you're just starting out and trying to test out your airbrush. As I said before, this kit also comes with eight airbrush colours, including silver and gold, which are really useful to have. 
the main bulk of the colours in this kit are primary colours, so you are missing a few so you do have to do some colour mixing yourself. This kit is currently available on Amazon for £129.99, but that is currently reduced to £64.99. That is the current price as of July 2020, but that could easily change depending on when you're watching this video. Now, a good alternative for an airbrush gun, as they can be pretty pricey, is actually a product we've already talked about. It's basically a paint palette and some paintbrushes. You can use paintbrushes to create some pretty intricate designs with just a little bit of food colouring and some food safe alcohol. The good thing about paintbrushes, and what I like about using paintbrushes, is that you don't have to be perfect. I don't have the steadiest hand in the world, and I can still create pretty nice designs using a paintbrush and some food colouring. You can add more depth to colours by just basically using less alcohol and more concentrated food colouring. Also, like this video and comment down below if you know whose apron I'm painting. This is going to be a video coming up very soon on my channel. The next tool we're going to talk about is something called Merry White, also known as Meringue Powder. Merry White, or Meringue Powder, is basically just dried egg whites. You mix this powder with water and then with icing sugar to create royal icing. As you can see, this bag is nearly empty because I use this product a lot of the time. Um, I got this from my local cake decorating store, but you can also buy it in small amounts from supermarkets. The alternative to this product is actually pretty simple. It's just an egg. That's it, just an egg. More specifically, the egg white. The egg white is basically what the powder is derived from, so you can use it in the fresh form really easily. Just take a basic chicken egg, try and leave it out at room temperature, you can use it cold but it's better at room temperature. Separate the egg yolk from the egg white and make sure you whisk the egg white before adding it to icing sugar. It works exactly the same as the egg powder but the main difference is it's fresh so your icing won't last as long. The next tool I'm going to be talking about is a cookie decorating turntable. This is a small plastic clear turntable. It came with a little non-slip mat so when you place a cookie on the top it doesn't slide around everywhere. The part of the table that helps it turn are basically these small metal ball bearings. From what I gather they're there to reduce friction so you're able to turn the table easily without it sticking. This turntable is a really good size for when you're trying to decorate one cookie at a time and it's available on Amazon for £16.91. This turntable is super helpful for when you're decorating. The main reason I use it is so that I'm touching the cookie less because if I touch it too much it tends to stop breaking at the edges. The alternative for one of these cookie turntables that you probably have in your house already is just a Lazy Susan. This is an old wooden one that I had in my house already. Most people already have these in their house from serving food or for storage in their cupboards. You basically just need anything that's got a wheel on the bottom that you can turn. I found one on Amazon that's really similar and I'll link it below if you're interested. And finally, the last tool we're going to be talking about is my mini projector. This is the PTV Display Wireless Wi-Fi Mini Projector. This is basically a small film projector that I use for projecting images onto my cookies. I basically suspend this projector from a phone holder, like one of the ones with the arms that go across, and I basically have it projecting down onto what I want to make. I can use something called eShare, which is basically screen mirroring from my phone or my iPad to the image that I want projected out of the projector. It is super small and super light, so it's really handy for work with cookie projection. I point the image down at the cookie that I'm about to decorate, and I basically trace around it either with icing or with edible food pens. I have been told by some people on my TikTok that this is basically just tracing and so it's cheating and I'm not doing it properly. But as a person who sells my work onto others, I want to make sure that my work is up to my own standards. I like my work to be very neat and very tidy and by using a projector I basically get the clear concise image that I want. If you're able to do work like this freehand, then I admire you, you're amazing at what you do. But personally, I just like to have the image there because sometimes I can be a little bit shaky handed and having the image makes me feel more comfortable when doing my work. You can also use your projector to project different fonts on, if you want to say different messages, you can type it into a word generator and have it projected onto your cookie. Now a projector can be a little bit pricey, it retails for £201 on Amazon. 
Now, what can you use as a substitute for a £201 projector? Well, basically, what I started using was my phone. More specifically, a free app that I found on the App Store for my phone. There are many different projector apps out there, but the one I found first when I was first looking at this was an app called Projector. With this app, you basically put in any drawing. It can be a drawing you've done yourself. It can be a picture off the internet. They even have pre-done drawings already for you. And you put it into their app and they basically project it through your camera screen. They have options for whether you're holding it with your hand or if you're putting it in a tripod, just so they know how the camera is going to be moving around. Once you are in this app, it will give you all the information you need on how to zoom, how to lock your image in, and how to reset it once you've already had it locked and you want to change it. You can also control the transparency of your image, so you can control how much you see, whether it's a lot, whether it's a little, whatever's comfortable for you. One disclaimer I do have with this app is that with the free version you only get three minutes worth of drawing time. If you want more than that you do have to pay and upgrade the app. This is me using one of the example images that they have on the app for free, just moving it around showing you how the app would work if you were holding it in your hand. I think this is a really good alternative for beginner cookie decorators if you're a little bit nervous about making shapes or doing any writing or anything. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching my video. All the tools listed today will be in the description down below. Please like this video, comment down below what you'd love to see next, and subscribe for more cookie related content. Also, if you live in the UK, you can buy my cookies. They're listed on my website at bestbakesinthehouse.co.uk. The link will be in the description below. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.